What is tempera? And what's the difference with gouache paint? If you ever wonder, here is your answer. Don't forget to subscribe for more gouache tips. I've been to Florence, Italy recently, and I visited a wonderful art store called Zecchi, and I was really intrigued by the tempera, al uovo, meaning with yolk, egg yolk. So it's not exactly like gouache, but close to it. So I want to test it and see what it's doing and how is it different from gouache. Let's make a kind of a color wheel, but roughly. I'm not much into details. And Not in a good place. <laughs> I should go this way. <laughs> Never mind. I will cover it. Okay, so these are very rich colors, interesting colors, and I'm quite sure I can make a lot of mixes with this. And to show you how I make my mixes, I will flip my sketchbook and make mixes with white because sometimes you really need to add white to see a color properly. And now let's go for some opacity test. I think it's particularly good for um, making flat surface. I want to try to blend this. Yeah, why not? And let's go for something with more water. So this is just plain water and I want to see that it's not very good because I feel like the pigment particles are very thin, very small and they are soaking into the paper. So it's quite difficult to reactivate and even if it was really quick, I don't feel like it's uh, very good for blending. And while it's fresh, if I pull the paint with water, it's really drying very fast. I would say even faster than gouache. And yes, the paint is soaking in the paper. You can tell it's almost like watercolor. So my guess is the particles are as thin as watercolor, so it bleeds into the paper. And it's um, the yolk makes a dry paint in no, no time. Really, it's a matter of seconds. Is it opaque? Good point. Get some white, dirty white. Very opaque actually. Much more opaque than gouache. And as it's not reactivating the paint below, it's very cool. So I have to test and make a portrait and then I will tell you what I think about this painting. What I can tell is it's really drying very, very fast. Actually, I had to spray a lot to keep my paint hydrated and it's difficult to make blend with this paint, but it fits with my style, which is more patches of colors. What I want to do now is clean this very fast because I'm afraid it will ruin my brushes. So all in all, it's a good paint with a very good consistency. 
uh, the colors are really great, although not as vibrant as uh, synthetic colors. These are more natural colors, so it's very difficult to get bright colors. And I like it all in all. So what do you think? Have you painted with Tampera before? Let me know what you think in comments. See you soon.